Hi there, Alvin here. Today I am going to show you how to swap publications in Tridian. You might have heard publication changes are hard, and I think they are to the extent that you have to keep track and know all the dependencies between items. So here's a given scenario we have in one of our environments, the training environment, where you have global content translated and localized in a Spanish publication. But sometimes you may want to add or insert new publications. I've done that earlier here in the Content Manager Explorer. And let me show you this new publication here. And this publication belongs to the global content publication as a child. So from here to there, you see that? And it has the uh, former translation layer, which still has some localized content in it, uh, down below it. So this one's pretty easy. To add this, uh, you add a new publication, and as you're adding it, add the former parent above it and then update the um, existing publication to have this as a parent. But what happens if you have some content already in this publication? This is where we can swap and this only works right uh, right after creating this uh, new agnostic layer or new publication. The reason being is there are no dependencies between uh, this publication and its new parent, meaning that all the items above it in global content pass straight through to this translation layer. So the two steps we want to do here is from 300 swap its parents and then from 250 swap its parents and the last piece is rename the publications. So the first one let us change the parents for uh, translation. So I'm put a put, I'm going to excuse me. I'm going to put a note here to say that this is going to be this one, okay? And we want to change its parents. So right now, it, its its parent is the new inserted publication, but I want to go back and give it global content instead as a parent. Okay. So what does that mean? If you look at global content, it has both of these as children. And this was possible because 300 had no dependencies on 250. If you did, then you'd have to unlocalize, maybe make copies of things, and adjust the blueprint in order to do this part. Then the last part, or the second part, is adjusting 250. So from 250, which will become the new 300, I can say, well, I want this to be the child of the um, originally child publication of this one. Remove the parent. And so save and close. And now we've adjusted the blueprint so that if we look at the blueprint viewer, you can see that 250 used to be a parent of 300 and now they're swapped. And of course the last piece is to rename everything. So this is now the new 300. Okay. Oops. I do have a conflict. I'll just save that for now. Save and close. And then for the other publication, we change it.
by swapping names. And one more. And I could probably have done this in uh, fewer steps. But I think you get the point, hopefully. So the next time you someone tells you blueprint changes are impossible or, or hard, yes, they can be. But if you understand the dependencies, or if you make your changes early on, it, it can be manageable. Thank you.